I'm then going to press finish sketch and then I'm going to go to the 3D model tab where I can use the extrude tool to select each of the individual circles that I drew all eight of them and rather than making them stick out I'm going to make them go backwards and cut the material away so I'm going to select this one here for cut and you'll notice that they, they now go backwards and project back into my piece of plastic uh, the distance doesn't matter as long as it's more than three millimeters so I can click tick and then I've got all of my holes that I want I now need to put the holes in for the switches so I can right click new sketch I'm going to rotate it around again so I'm looking at it the right way and I'm now going to draw a circle for my switch which is going to be 10 millimeters and it's going to be dimensioned using the D or dimension tool 50 from the top and 40 from the edge I'm then going to draw a line in the middle like we did before you'll notice when I go to the middle the dashed line appears doesn't matter how long that is because I'm going to use this as a mirror and if I click on my mirror select mirror line now it's not letting me select that I need to make sure I have actually selected it apply and then we are done make sure you have selected the shape that you need in my case it was this circuit and make sure you have selected the mirror line and not the wrong way around once you're done we can delete that line there finish sketch again go back to the extrude and again cut so we have the holes at that point it would definitely be worth saving again we're then going to have a go at creating the LEDs and the switches to add into this so using the file new instead of sheet metal I'm now going to make a part so it's a standard millimeter IPT if I click on create we'll have a go at creating a switch first so we're going to do a 2D sketch I'm going to do it in this plane this time use the circle tool right in the middle and as we know they were 10 millimeters in diameter so 10 enter finish sketch and then I can click on extrude they're fairly high the switches so 10 millimeters I think is okay and I'm then going to just rotate it around so I can see the bottom of it don't forget you can do this with this cube as well uh, press escape because I don't want it to rotate anymore and draw a new sketch on here I'm going to draw another circle slightly larger this time we're going to have a 12 millimeter diameter and you might remember the switches did have a flat edge so we might as well draw a line just across like so this will be similar to the LEDs as well and then I'm going to trim the excess bit of the circle that I don't need I'm then going to finish that sketch extrude and extrude by about four millimeters I can drag it down to four millimeters or press type in and press enter tick there we go. so there is my switch looks very similar to the ones that we were using I can use this tool at the top here this is a color palette tool it's one with a little blue triangle in the corner click on that and if I drag over the whole thing I can then change the color of my switch fairly easily I'm gonna go with a green switch and I'm going to do my file save as of that within that same folder as before now if I switch tabs to this original part I can actually add that switch in but I will need to create it into an assembly so I'm going to do another new this time I'm going to create a standard millimeter.iam and then create now I'm going to place you should automatically say place at the top there so make sure you go on to just place not place from anywhere you need to find it within that documents folder that you had and I want one of those so I'm going to click to place one of them now if I kept clicking I'd get loads but I don't want loads so I'm going to press escape 
and I'm going to click place again and I'm then going to click my switch open and I'm going to click two of those and then escape because of course I want two switches now we need to get the switches into the right place now you can rotate them around and do all sorts of fancy things but it's actually easier to add a constraint in so we want to constrain the center of this switch to be in line with the center of the hole like so so I'm going to OK that and then we'll do the same with the other one constrain find the center just hover around and it will appear and then find the center again it's not around the right way but that doesn't matter it is lined up at least they will come out the hole don't want them to but they will so now I'm going to do another constraint and I'm going to use this edge here to constrain against the back face now as long as I'm using the mate function where the two faces will join we'll be okay again I need to do with this piece as well now this is going to be slightly trickier because I need this face but I also need this face that I can't actually see so I'm going to have to rotate around until I can see it if you get rid of the rotating tool and click like so I now have two switches in my sheet now you will notice this is uh, quite a translucent sheet so we can see what's going on behind but that doesn't really matter we could change the color of that later on it would be worth saving that of course because things can crash we don't want to lose anything here so I'm going to save that and give that a meaningful title of the uh, year 8 fully assembled stand and save I then need to have a go at creating some LEDs so I'm going to do another file new another standard millimeter IPT we're gonna do it very very similar to how we created those switches so we're starting our sketch we're going to draw a circle this time it's only five millimeters because they have five millimeter LEDs that's all I need on the sketch there I'm going to extrude that don't quite need 10 millimeters probably about eight millimeters would be okay and okay now of course the top of an LED is not flat like that so we're going to put a rounded edge on it what's known as a fillet so we click on fillet select that edge and then you can see how it's rounding off the top here now that has a radius of two millimeters of course our LED is five millimeters so the radius would be half of that so I type in 2.5 and then it will give me a completely rounded bullet like top the underside of the LED I can then right click new sketch draw a circle on there let's make this one six millimeters and of course LEDs have a flat edge we mustn't forget that flat edge and we're going to trim that bit and finish that sketch we'll then extrude probably only about 1.2 millimeters that will do and there I have my LED now of course your LEDs probably aren't grey so if I click on this one again select it all first and then I can select the colour of it they might have been blue if they weren't blue maybe you change to white you can do whatever colours you want yeah, we can always change the colour later on and then of course I'm going to do another save as there's my LED if I really wanted to here I could add the legs of the LED if you're feeling brave why not have a go at it on here I'm going to do another place I need to get my LED I have eight LEDs, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I get right click to bring that menu up. And now I need to do exactly the same as I did before with the switches. Which is a lot of constraints, center to center, constrain, center to center. Don't forget you can press enter. If you press enter, it automatically comes up with the box again so it might speed you up a bit 
enter, click, click, enter, click, click, enter, click, click, enter. Right. Now we need to get the right side. This is the fun bit of each of those. So I'm just going to pull them out of the hole slightly to give me a bit of a chance here. Because we need to turn them all around and have them all facing the other way. So if I rotate the whole thing, oh, I haven't clicked on it there, but I've clicked on the wrong thing. So I'm going to click on that one and rotate it just enough that I can select the bit I want. So another constrain. It's that edge. You can just about see the bit I've selected there. To rotate it back around, I can press escape and oh, that's going to constrain it to the front if I click on that face. So I actually do want to select that face and I'm going to press enter let's do that one to that one enter that one to that one enter no, I can't actually get to any of the others there's one I can get to that one to that one enter now I'm going to have to rotate it around a little bit more so I can actually see try and select that face there it is back face enter Hopefully I can select that one and enter right how are we getting on we've got one left to do two left to do Let's see if we can select that face edge there and last one don't think I'm gonna be able to get to that one so I'm gonna press escape see if I can drag the LED out a little bit do another constraint let's press C on the keyboard to bring that up Enter. For some reason that one hasn't worked, so I'm going to click on there and click on there. Enter. And I'll press escape to get rid of that menu. Now, hopefully, when I turn it around, I now have all of my LEDs in place. Now if you want to change the colours, you can select them individually. Uh, maybe that's an orange LED. You might even find that maybe you've got a few patterns. So if I hold down control and select them, then I can select them all to be the same colour. I'm going to make those orange LEDs and I'm going to make those ones uh, pink LEDs. There we go. Okay, and one of my switches was green but the other one was actually uh, red. So there we go. So I'm going to change those. The background piece on this one might have been a different colour as well so you can just select the colour that you want for your background. Let's go with blue. If we s just rotate it around a little bit, there we go. And that is pretty much what ours looks like. Looking at it now, it does look a little bit like those two switches are a little close to each other. Well, if that's a problem for you, after you've saved everything, you can go back to the original part. You see down here, my Year 8 Inventor piece. And along the side here, I'm going to have a look in these extrusions for the sketch that relates to those switches. Now you can see it highlights... Then when I click on extrusion 1, that's the LEDs. If I click on extrusion 2, that is the switches. So I actually want to go back to sketch 4. I'm going to double click, not on the name, on the little icon, double click. And then I can edit it. So rather than that being 40 millimeters, let's change that to 35 millimeters and see what that does. That looks a little bit better. We'll do the same from the other side. We'll just add a dimension in there to make that 35 millimeters. There we go, that looks a little bit better. So if I finish that sketch and of course hit save, when I go on to my fully assembled one, that should automatically update. Now if it doesn't update, it's not a problem. We can go on to these. There we go. And now it's realized and updated. So we just click on the original switch one, switch two and it's automatically updated them. There we go. So I've moved my switches slightly if I wasn't happy. I would then be making sure I save that. And to be honest, if I wanted to go a little bit further, I could go back to my original switch and I could add the legs onto the switch. Making sure, of course, that we're getting them around the right way. So I'm going to use the circle tool. I'm going to put a circle here 
about one millimeter for an LED leg. And I'm just going to do one at a time. Extrude and proportionally, that does look a little wrong. So I'm going to make it a little longer. 